Hey y'all, it's Victoria here to talk to you about um, how I told people that I was trans. So um, before I came out, I obviously so much anxiety about telling people and fear and uh, fear for my safety, fear for acceptance, just, you know, whether they would be accepting of me when I told them and I just I uh, think a lot of it was that I feared that they wouldn't and that nobody would and that I would be all alone and I mean those are always our fears right um nobody wants to be alone at least not always so um especially if you build a life you know you build a life you have friends and family and maybe you're married maybe you have kids but you have uh, connected networks of people you work with and friends and acquaintances and everybody, else, everyone. And so they all kind of figure they know you. So when you tell them, you have fears that they won't accept you and all that other stuff. So it's a terrible feeling. Um, the very first person that I told was my doctor because <laughs> it was the first time I had ever actually said, I'm trans to somebody else. Um, I had barely just told it to myself at that point. So, um, anyways, um, the next person that found out was my spouse at the time. Um, yeah, that didn't go that well. Um, and, um, we're now divorced. Um, we share custody of two kids and, um, they're with the most, they're with her most of the time, but, um, yeah, I still have a great relationship with my kids. Uh, the next person that I told was my parents, and that also didn't go well. <laughs> um, we're okay now, but um, it was a tough little bit of time to get from pre-transition to transition to this place that we're in right now, um, which is fine. <laughs> it's not the best, but it's okay. Um, anyways, and uh, so then the next person I told was my uh, one of my best friends, Rish. And he it was so hard to tell him, but I told him and uh, he was like, cool, I don't care. You're amazing. We're friends. And that was it. <laughs> so um, that was kind of cool. Um, and then slowly but surely, a few other people started finding out. And then eventually, I everyone knew. <laughs> Even everyone <laughs> seems like. Okay, so yeah, uh, that was my alignment of how it happened. Um, but telling people that you're trans is a, oh my God, <laughs> that's, I can't even, I, 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 it would, wouldn't it be wonderful if we got to a place in, in this world where you would tell somebody you were trans and they would be like, cool, like, and that would be it. And then they would go on with their life and you would go on with your life and you'd have this awesome relationship or friendship or whatever it is. Um, but we're not there yet. <laughs> so, uh. Um, coming out as trans now still can come with a lot of anxiety and fear and all of that yucky stuff <laughs> that we don't like. So um, when you're coming out, I wrote a letter. I think I posted a long letter on Facebook um, when I came out to everybody else and the majority of people were super accepting. How you go about doing it is really up to you, uh, obviously. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Um, but um, I would say in the long run, usually almost every time, it's better to be honest and better to come out and say your piece and just hope for the best because usually People are a lot better <laughs> than you give them credit for, I think. A lot of times, uh, the number of times I would tell somebody I was trans and they were like, oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> and that would be it. And it would be this just thing like I don't that nobody really gave a shit about. And even people who I thought for sure <laughs> were going to be uh, transphobic or homophobic or whatever, uh, like it didn't materialize the same way. And um, even the people that 
kind of for whatever reason after that we drifted apart like you know which is cool i i understand that i mean there's no hate on for me from for that um even those people nobody was remotely worst case scenario not even close um i never got a message of hate before i joined instagram <laughs> read it uh, but that's another story altogether um the online world obviously is awesome but it's also shit right so for all the haters and all the turfs and all the yucky people who have only hate in their hearts that's where they go <laughs> they go to the internet so they can be trolls because they hate their lives and they hate themselves but that's again another story <laughs> so uh I get it. Fear, anxiety, all of those really tough things. They hold us back from speaking our truth and, and living our truth and um, telling our loved ones. And uh, they are such powerful little fuckers, those two, honestly. Uh, I think it controls most people's lives. <laughs> really. Uh, if I think about it, it's not just about coming out, but Everyone is controlled by fear and anxiety and pressure and doubt and all of these negative emotions. So many people are controlled by hate, for fuck's sakes. Um, and I feel so sad for those people, actually. Um, but anyways, I digress. Um, we don't want to live in the life where we are controlled by our negative emotions. Instead of being controlled by your positive emotions like love and compassion and empathy and joy and all of these feelings, so many of us are controlled by the negative emotions like hate, jealousy, despair. I don't know, there's so much <laughs> fear. Ugh. All of these terrible emotions because the negative emotions, they're really powerful and uh, they can come on like this. And they're not fragile, right? Love is fragile, um, or at least it seems like it. But um, fear and hatred and jealousy, they're not fragile. They, they, don't, they don't just collapse for no reason. <laughs> so that's why they're so powerful. Um, and the, 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 the good emotions, they're more fragile, but they're so much better. <laughs> so again, I digress. <laughs> don't let your fears control your destiny. Um, don't let your anxiety do it either. Uh, I'm a very anxious person. I live in a world of anxiety and I don't take any ADHD medication. So I'm crazy. Um, but that is what it is. <laughs> I think the favorite parts of myself are my ADHD parts. So anyways, um, I can't digress again. <laughs> this is fun. Okay. So Coming out to family, coming out to friends, coming out to everyone else in the world that you are trans or gay or a lesbian or non-binary or whatever. Polyamorous, just as, just as much, you know, um, just as much hate on for that where why you can't just be who you want to be. So again, I digress. <laughs> um, telling people is so important and I know it's such a scary thing. Um, be methodical about it. Tell the people you love first, one on one. Um, speak your truth, because honestly, that's the only thing we have that matters. And um, then you'll find out, in most cases, that uh, people are a lot more wonderful than we give them credit for. So, with that being said, love you all. Bye.